never allow Jesus to go away from you. Dear friends, I don't know how many of you are aware or realize, always when we choose to do something good, there is also positive and negative impact for that. We are carried away at times by the negative impact than looking at the positive thing that has happened to us. Simple example would be, if you chose to be here today for this Mass, 1210 Mass, that means you have to give up some of your lunch time. As simple as that. Or you could have spent that time eating lunch with your friend. The very moment you choose something, that means you have to forego something. Simple choice, but it has positive and negative effect on you. Therefore, you may miss the opportunity in life, but look at the good side of it. Lose anything in life, but not Jesus. Choose only Jesus and not anything in life. So, the problem in today's gospel is that people are worried about the material loss that they have had. But they did not see Jesus destroying the demonic powers, demonic spirit. Because of the harm that Jesus has done to them, they beg Jesus. No, normally we beg Jesus to stay with us, but people are begging Jesus to go away from them just because of the loss that they have had. Material or any personal loss in life looks much, much greater than God, but it is not. It may look, but it is not. One of the tricks probably the devil, the demons play on us is to break our relationship with God. And to do that, they go to any extent. It is not Jesus who said to the demoniacs, you go into the herd of swine. He didn't say that. They chose. They asked Jesus, send us. You know, that's how they, even at the last moment, they look how we can, we can separate you from God. So we need to learn from Job this. God has given, God has taken back. Blessed be the name of our Lord. For no reason, for no loss of your, dare to curse God, to leave you. It is God who gives, and never God rejoices in taking it back. If God does it, I think he does it for a reason. There should be a reason, otherwise he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it because he wants to harm us. People in the gospel fail to realize that truth. They fail to see the good that Jesus did for them. But let's not do that. In the hardest experience of life, let us see a narrow way which makes us to see or rejoice in God. Which makes us to rejoice in God or see the good that God does to us. Find just a reason to be with our Lord. Stay with Jesus always and he will stay with you. Amen.